When it comes to AI, the world really is optimistic about India. And today, we got the loudest proof yet. Microsoft is putting uh, $17.5 billion worth, which is around 1.45 lakh crore rupees, into India's AI future over the next four years. And guess what? Their largest investment in Asia. The biggest AI infrastructure bet by any tech company on Indian soil. All announced after this meeting in Delhi. Satya Nadella and Prime Minister Narendra Modi shaking hands and very quietly redrawing the AI map of Asia. It wasn't just Satya Nadella. Prime Minister Modi also held back-to-back -back meetings with Cognizant CEO Ravi Kumar and CMD S. Rajesh Barrier and Intel CEO Lip Bhutan. Aligning India's AI roadmap, semiconductor manufacturing push, skilling agenda, and the country's emerging role as a global AI compute hub at a moment when Microsoft, Intel, and Cognizant are each making multi-billion dollar commitments to India. Now, coming back to Satya Nadella and in a major signal on how India's industrial giants are sinking with Microsoft's AI roadmap, Gautam Adani met Satya Nadella today discussing the future of technology, expanding their 360-degree partnership, and even receiving a hands-on demonstration of the AI apps Nadella is personally building. So what exactly is Microsoft buying with $17.5 billion? And what does it mean for India's AI infrastructure? So for 310 million informal workers, and for every developer watching this, from Bengaluru, Hyderabad, Pune, or a tier 3 town? Can we expect tomorrow from Microsoft's AI tour in Bengaluru, where AIM network will be on ground? So if you're ready, let's break it down. But before that, please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. This is Front Page by AIM Network. All set? Let's get into it. First, the headline move. Between 2026 and 2029, Microsoft will invest $17.5 billion in India. This comes on top of the $3 billion AI plus cloud commitment, which Satya announced in January of 2025. So we are actually looking at over $20 billion earmarked for one idea, which is make India AI first on infrastructure, skills, and digital sovereignty. Officially, Microsoft frames it as three pillars. Scale, hyperscale AI, infrastructure skills, 20 million people trained in AI by 2030. Sovereignty, India ready, compliant cloud for sensitive data. Simply put, more GPUs, more jobs, more guardrails is actually what all of this translates to. So Microsoft is building what could become India's AI backbone. It's new India's South Central Cloud region in Hyderabad, live by mid-2026, will be Microsoft's largest hyperscale region in the country, with three availability zones and a footprint equal to two Eden Gardens. Existing regions in Chennai, Hyderabad, and Pune are also expanding, giving enterprises, startups, and government low latency AI compute without relying on GPUs abroad. This is AI public infrastructure. The same way UPI became rails for payments, these data centers became rails for AI apps, agents, and national platforms. Microsoft is also launching sovereign public cloud for India specific compliance and governance. Sovereign Private Cloud, Azure Local, for workloads running in customer slash partner data centers. Even offline, Microsoft 365 Local plus Copilot Local Processing by end of 2025. So keeping all prompts and responses inside India. Crucial for government, BFSI and healthcare. The bottom line? For everyone asking, where is my data, which jurisdiction, which GPU? Microsoft's answer, your AI can live and run entirely within India. But 
Infrastructure is only half the story. The second big pillar is AI at population scale. Microsoft is plugging Azure OpenAI into two of India's most important labor platforms. Ishram, the registry for informal workers. National Career Service, NCS, the national jobs and careers platform. Together, these platforms touch over 310 million informal workers, including street vendors, daily wages, domestic workers, gig workers. So with AI, they get this, multilingual access in Indian languages via Bhashini AI, assisted job matching, predictive analytics on skills and demand automatic resume generation, personalized pathways from informal to formal jobs, and of course, social security. So do we remember that India's social protection coverage has actually jumped from roughly one-fourth of the population to nearly two-thirds in just a few years? And if this works, AI stops being a buzzword in boardrooms and becomes something that literally decides who gets a job, a pension, or an insurance even. This is where AI diffusion at population scale stops being a slide and starts being someone's first formal paycheck. Microsoft pledged to skill 10 million Indians in AI by 2030 and has already trained 5.6 million since January of 2025 through the Advantage India initiative. Now they're doubling the target to 20 million. This matters because, because of this. A large share of learners come from Tier 2 and Tier 3 cities. Many are women, young professionals and career switchers. So over 125,000 people have already secured jobs or entrepreneurial opportunities through these programs. This aligns with a broader shift Satya often highlights, which is India is now the largest source of new developers on GitHub and is on course to become the world's biggest developer community by 2030. We have of course covered this extensively on front page, including our exclusive conversation with Amanda Silver, Microsoft's product leader for VS, VS Code, GitHub Copilot and Azure's AI native ecosystem. She, I remember, talked brilliantly about India's fast growing developer momentum and the new wave of AI-driven enterprises emerging from the country. If you're a developer or a founder building with agents, please, I implore you, watch it. It's a masterclass. Now, as far as Microsoft's bet is concerned, it is quite simple. Build the infrastructure, skill the people, and let Indian developers do the rest. But most importantly, there is a quieter strategic layer here. Trust and geopolitics. India wants to be a frontier AI nation, but on its own terms. Data residency, regulatory control, and digital sovereignty. Microsoft wants to be the go-to AI partner for governments and enterprises that care about compliance as much as compute. Hence, sovereign cloud offerings, in-country co-pilot processing, zero water data center cooling, designs and renewable energy contracts with companies like Renew and Amplus. A community fund for environmental justice and women's livelihoods tied to those power contracts. So this is actually in a way hinting at a race for who becomes the trusted AI operating system for countries. And right now, India is one of Microsoft's most important test beds. For India's AI and SaaS ecosystem, this $17.5 billion bet delivers three immediate shifts. The first one, cheaper, closer compute startups no longer need to push workloads to distant regions and hope latency cooperates. Training models, running agents, and large-scale retrieval becomes far more viable within India. Number two, a higher bar for the industry if Microsoft executes, Google, AWS, Oracle, and Meta will all face the same question, which is, what's your India AI infrastructure and skilling roadmap? Number three, AI as an exportable public goods platform like Ishram and NCS already running on Azure can be packaged 
and exported as digital public goods, co-designed by India and Microsoft. Infrastructure, influence and impact, all at once. And now, let us try to zero in into tomorrow. Satya Nadella moves from Delhi to Bengaluru for the Microsoft Leadership Connection and AI Tour. And AIM Network will be on ground to cover it. We are very proud of that. We will be there talking to developers, partners and Microsoft leaders about what this $17.5 billion actually feels like on the ground. Please make sure to tune in and you of course do not want to miss out on this one. And now, as always, it is time for the front page take. A decade ago, the big India story was digital public infrastructure, Aadhaar, UPI, fast tag. Today, we may be watching the start of AI public infrastructure, GPUs, sovereign cloud and population scale platforms like eShram and NCS, all wired with AI. Microsoft's $17.5 billion bet is a signal. The AI race in Asia doesn't just pass through India, in many ways, it starts here. Tomorrow, we'll bring you the sights, sounds and sharpest conversations from the Microsoft AI Tour in Bengaluru. If you're there, please come say hi. We'd love to say hello to you. Until then, this is Front Page by AIM Network. You know what to do. Like, share, subscribe and yes, well done. Think AI, think AIM.